Hi guys, my name is Philip, and welcome to another mini, mini, mini tutorial <laughs> at letsimage.com. And don't forget, you can find me on Twitter at letsimage as well. So recently I showed you how I processed this image here from one of these smaller pyramids at the Louvre. And during the processing of this image, I came across a massive and really annoying problem, which is noise. Okay, so noise is that sort of dirt, pixely, dirty, super dirty dirt <laughs> in an image. And uh, you really mostly don't want it, you just want to get rid of it. And it's actually quite simple. And so I thought, hmm, hey Philip, let's make a really small tutorial and just show people how to get rid of it without having them to watch the whole processing of this image. Now, let's jump right into Photoshop and I'm going to show you how the noise was before I got rid of it and then how I got rid of it. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so here we have an image from the Louvre, from one of these smaller pyramids. And if I zoom out, you can actually see that this is the case. And uh, I tone up this image quite a bit just to create an incredible amount of noise, which you can see here in the reflection on the pyramid and on this uh, sort of middle parts, these black lines there. So it's quite hard noise. So what can we do? So first of all, I'm going to duplicate my layer because I don't like to work on my background layer. And once I have done that, instead of going to filter and noise and reduce noise, um, I don't like that filter too much because if the noise is too strong, it doesn't seem to do a pretty good job. So Instead, we're going to go to Filter and come on our raw filter. And that'll bring you here in this yeah, window. <laughs> I'm just going to zoom in so that you can see the noise we have here. You have different options here on the top. And if you go to the third one, which is Detail, then you'll find Noise Reduction in the lower part where you have Luminance and Color. And sometimes Color does a good job, sometimes Luminance does a good job, sometimes a combination of both does a good job. And in this particular case, the color doesn't do much, so I do have to crank up my illuminance completely and then bring my luminance detail down completely actually as well, which does get rid of all the noise. So I'm just going to hit OK. The problem is if you look at the before and the after, you'll see that we lost quite a bit of detail due to, yeah, obviously the noise removal. So because the noise is so strong, we're going to lose a little bit of that, but we can bring a little bit of that detail back so I'm just going to make that visible again. I'm going to duplicate this layer once more by hitting Command and J. Then I'm going to change the blending mode from normal to, let's say, hard light. And then I'm going to go to Filter, Other, and High Pass. And then I'm just going to choose a, a radius, which seems appropriate. And in this case, I obviously tried that before, so I know that 4.3 pixels is quite a good radius to work with. I'm just going to hit OK. And now, if you have a look at the before, you, know, you see it's quite smudgy and not really clear. And after, you realize that we brought quite a bit of detail back into the image. Now, this is an extreme example, obviously, but uh, you'll see it's going to work most of the times. So um, the problem is, furthermore, if we zoom out and we go to the back here, for example, where there is a building, you'll see in the moment there is no real yeah, detail, if you want. So if you just go back to how it was before and the after, you'll see that we have lost quite a bit of detail. And what we can do, we're just going to group the two things we have just created. So first the layer where we applied the noise removal to, and then the new layer which we have turned into a hard light blending mode with the high pass filter to get some of these details back. I'm going to group them hitting Command and J. Then I'm going to create a layer mask by clicking on the layer mask symbol down here. And choose B to get my brush. Make the brush nice and big. Go to an opacity, whatever I want, maybe something like 50, 60% or so. I'm just going to bring back the building as it was before. Because in a building, I actually don't mind noise too much. But in a reflection, I would like to have as less noise as possible. So I'll bring that back here, and that back here. I'm just going to be really quick just to give you an idea. Good. So we have the building back in order. And the reflection is nice and clean. OK, so let's zoom out a little bit and have a look at the pyramid before and after. So we've actually kept quite a bit of detail. I'm quite happy with it. Doesn't look too smudgy. And yeah, that's one way to get rid of noise in an image. Okay, so remember again, this image was quite, quite an extreme case with noise. Normally, hopefully, you won't have this amount of noise in an image. But if you do, just go to Camera Raw Filter and apply your, uh, yeah, your, your luminance or your color slider action and see what happens. So, didn't I say it's going to be super easy? It's going to make everything as smooth as a baby's arse. Or, I don't know, does that make sense? I'm not sure, I should stop talking now. Good, thanks. Uh, guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. 
if you like my stuff, just you know, follow me on Twitter, on Facebook, on wherever you like, Instagram. I don't mind. Just follow me wherever you want. And I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>